What's up everybody? Welcome to the show kid. Today we're making Korean barbecue ribs. Yes, Korean barbecue short ribs. I got a pack of short ribs. This is uh, 1.32 pound short ribs. I got them at Wegmans. Okay, so they got this boneless. No bones in here. We're gonna do this in the Instapot again. Okay, so first ingredient that will go in there. First ingredient will be this. We're gonna put Open up the beef ribs. Oops. <laughs> and we're gonna put them in. And gonna put all the goodies in there. Yep. And that's that. Okay. What else we got? We got one pair. I got this red uh Called. I take good. I went to Whole Foods. I only spent five bucks. Uh, what do they call these pears? Red and Jew. A N J O U. And Jew pear. So we're going to use one pear, one knot of garlic. I mean, not garlic, uh, ginger, about the size of your thumb. So this, peel that. We got uh, garlic. I got this pre ground garlic. We're gonna use bone broth. I'm gonna use this whole thing. We got rice vinegar. We got a little Oriental Five Spice spice, and we got some cilantro, fresh cilantro that I'm gonna chop up. So with that being said, I'm gonna chop up this stuff and then I'm gonna get back to you. Okay, back again. All right. So we got the short ribs. I just roughly chopped up. Pears. Slide the pears on in. I took the skin off, mostly off. Whoops. Um, not completely, mostly. Almost all of it. And put them in. And then we got our ginger all chopped up. That's going in. Ginger, not Marianne. Okay. On top of that, I'm just gonna put shake a bit. And one little round over the top of the Chinese five spice. The rice vinegar. And about maybe three tablespoons. I don't know. Don't measure very well. Then we got our. This is kettle and fire. This is a very good. Uh, this was like eight bucks for this thing. Um, where's the thing? Across the dotted line. And and that's a bone bone broth. We're using that. So so far so good. And then gonna open up our garlic. And one giant, maybe. About two heaping tablespoons worth of the garlic in there. And it might seem like I'm forgetting something. And. 
Um, fresh ground pepper. Just a couple of turns. Um, and the fresh cilantro I will add at the end. And with that, again, <laughs> I'm back again because I forgot two ingredients. So, uh, <laughs> two important ingredients. I got fish sauce, taste of Thai fish sauce. I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> I just kept saying, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, it was. Usually. Usually, when you feel like you're forgetting something, you are. What I can't do is get this stupid thing open. Assist. Oh. I'm trying to drop my knife on the floor. Come on. There we go. Cut some of this out. Alright. We're only going to be used. Oh. A tablespoon of that. And this uh, will go here. And toss that in. And uh, and probably that much coconut amino. I'm gonna use the rest of this bottle up. And the coconut amino. Soy sauce. I don't use soy sauce anymore. I use this. So, said half a cup, but my recipe is actually it, the recipe that I use called like five pounds bone in. And this is 1.32 pounds bone less. So, go figure. I'm using less stuff, a little bit less. Um, only other thing I didn't put was scallions. I got, I got some um, shallots, but I don't want to use them. I'm going to stick with just this, and I'll be back. Ah, hey, what's up? I'm back. All right, so. Oh. The meat is cooked. I'm going to put in some stir-fry. Sugar snap pea stir-fry. And... I got some uh, pepper stir fry and we're gonna add this. Go over half of that bag. I thought I had more of that uh, sugar snap pea stir fry. I thought I had a whole nother bag, but I don't. Who oh, will? Um, and let's go back in here. Oh, crap. And I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some green beans. Never go wrong with green vegetables. If you don't think that goes with that, then because I can put anything I want in my dish. Uh, <laughs> that's the beauty of cooking. You can put anything you want in anything you want. 
and I don't really know of anything that, <laughs> well, I'm sure there's things that don't go together, but, all right, I just can't think of them right now, so, come on, make your magic, all right, so we put the lid back on, and I'm just going to put this on to, um, manual, Uh, you know what? Screw that. How about this? We we'll just put it on as an egg. We'll put it on as an egg. So we'll let that heat up for five minutes. That'll be more than plenty. Five minutes. Oh, and I've got this night and day going here. Vanilla and toasted pecan. I had one of these not that long ago, and I was scared to drink the whole thing, but you know what? It's not that, it wasn't as bad as, um, I had the, the day and night, which is a blonde, a blonde something, or, I, that one was, yeah, this one's just as strong, it's 12.7, and it's a 24 ounce bottle, so this is like two beers, but, uh, I mean, it's strong, it's not real carbony though. So as a as a um, a stout with not a lot of carbonation, eh, not so great. Uh, I it it gets a half a decent head. I mean, even if you shake, see, even if I shake it, it's not much head. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know about you. I like head, <laughs> especially on a beer. Um, yeah, with that being said, uh, this comes in at, uh, I mean, as taste-wise, it tastes great. It's just, it doesn't have that carbonation, and I don't know if, I don't know if they force carbonated it and bottled it, because that'll, that won't stay carbonated good for very long. If you got it out of the keg, straight out of the keg, it will probably be better. on tap but like that it's a bit flat and that's the second bottle so I thinking maybe all oh, maybe the first bottle that wasn't didn't have a tight seal but no the second one's just as much flat uh, but anyway uh, here I go making long ass shit again. I <laughs> landed some of that crap out. Ooh. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready for this stuff? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for the taste. Oh, that's a nice rib. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Again. <laughs> You know when you when you cook something and you out impress yourself. I don't know what else I can say. <laughs> I have out impressed myself. That's wow. This is really good. up here. Where did you go? I had it right there. Yeah, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> 